Hi, my name is uh, Bart Dennis. I'm an interventional cardiologist with the Cardiovascular Institute of the South in uh, our Thibodeau practice. Prevention is much talked about, but rarely executed. As an interventional cardiologist, I put stents in and I see people with myocardial infarction and acute events. And while I'm taking care of these individuals, I always think what would happen if I had seen this individual 10 years earlier and could have prevented this entire event. Prevention, for me, is a threefold process. When I see someone who wants to know where they are and what they need to do to have a long and healthy life, my first step is to assess what we have right now. Is there a problem here? Do I need to find the problem before it finds you? The second step is we have the tools to see what your risk is for the next 10 and 20 years for having a cardiovascular event. Then, in the third step, with that knowledge, we look back at you and make up a plan that includes the changes that need to be made for you to lower your risk and extend your life and hopefully never need to see me in the cath lab with an MI or with a stent. We take great care of our cars and we change the oil even though it doesn't save on gas nor does it make our car run better. But we all understand that by changing the oil and making a small intervention up front, we will enjoy the life of that car for much longer. So why don't we do that for us, our own life? Let's save a heart, because when you save a heart, you save a life. The question I am often asked is, when would you like to see me? It's a great question and a very important one to uh, answer. I'd like to see patients who have no problems. I would like to see you before you have symptoms. How do you know when you need to be seen? Look first of all at your own family history. If your parents have problems at age 40 or at age 50 or at age 60, I would say come and see me at least 10 years before the age at which your parents had a problem. That will give us plenty of time to look at your risks and make sure that you do not follow that path of your parents. I often hear, I feel great. I have no problems, I exercise, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I am not overweight, I don't have diabetes. Does that mean that I don't need to see you? No, you still need to see me. But maybe not at age 30, but maybe at age 50. Living here in this uh, community for the last 27 years, on average, I would like to see women at age 50 and males at age 40. And it's a good rule of thumb. What's the worst that can happen? That I tell you you're doing great, that your risk factors are well controlled, and come and see me in five years, because you are doing great. Never be afraid to come and see me, because the symptom that you think is innocent and may not be related to heart rate may very well be. The typical symptoms of a heart problem are not always crushing chest pain, radiating to the neck or radiating to the arm. Quite often, they are more subtle and they can be a feeling of indigestion, a shortness of breath that you have never experienced, a palpitation or irregular heartbeat. Do not write it off and I will absolutely not think that it is unnecessary to come and see me. As a matter of fact, I would much rather say you're fine than missing an event that can cost you your life. Mm -hmm.